Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to take advantage of International Space Station sightings in your area. Yes, that's right. I never even thought about this myself. But it's all about the right place at the right time. You yourself can go out in your own backyard and watch the International Space Station flying over. Very fascinating. I started doing this myself just recently. So anyway, the first step is to find out when the viewing times are, and this is how you do it. Okay, the first step, uh, step is to go to www.nasa.gov www.nasa.gov Okay, off to the right where it says shuttle and station, you're going to click on that. Okay, then just below that uh, there's a box that says see the station in the sky. You're going to click just below this little thumbnail where it says sightings page, click on that. Then you're going to go over to the left here and just below the little thumbnail with the space station below that it says click here for space station sighting opportunities. Click that. Okay, select your country. United States is there by default. You're going to click on go to country. Uh, I live in California so I'm going to click my state and I'm going to scroll down to my city which is Napa. And there's Napa. Okay, then you have a list of uh, sighting opportunities, and the one I'm about to go out and show you is today, May 15th, 9:39. It tells you the when. It tells you the duration of the sighting, uh, the maximum elevation in the sky from your vantage point. So it's going to appear at its highest point at 48 degrees above the horizon. Uh, with right above your head would be 90 degrees. So you just figure halfway up is 45. It tells you the approach, that's where it appears in the sky, so tonight it'll appear 29 degrees above west-northwest and it'll it'll disappear at 34 degrees above south. So that gives you an idea of uh, where in the sky it's going to be, so let's head out and watch it. And then the other thing to remember is that uh, it has to be dark here on Earth but it has to be close enough to when the sun went down or close enough to before the sun rises to where any space objects are still illuminated by the sun but yet dark enough down here that we can that we can spot it we can spot objects in the sky so out we go uh, you can sort of see the moon is out I have to raise the exposure level so the moon and the stars out and it should be appearing in the west northwest sky here Outside here in the dark. Hey there, I think I got it. It's hard to see. Looks like a point of light. I'm holding the camera still. You can see it tracking across the upper left. The uh, space station is traveling at 17,000 miles an hour at an altitude of about uh, 200. In 15 miles or so, it travels in an elliptical orbit. Ranges from, I think, between just above 200 to up to maybe 250. But you can see it there. Now I'm tracking the camera along with, along with it. Okay, now if I pan the camera over and leave it still, you can see it's tracking across my field of view there. Using a tripod, holding it as still as I can, although little bit of movement. I don't know if the camera is showing its true color but it looks kind of an orangish color and I think it's because of the solar arrays have a lot of copper in them. Maybe give it an orangish tint. Oh, it's pretty high up in the sky now so if I stop the camera, hold it still, it's moving across pretty fast. Okay, now I'm tracking it again. Trying to keep it centered. Really hard to do because it moves fast. Oh, it's going into Earth's shadow and it's gone. It's pretty cool. You can just watch it disappear right into Earth's shadow because the sun went down about, I don't know hour, hour and a half ago. 
So it's it was high high up high enough up into the sky that it was illuminated by the sun, but it was moving towards Earth's shadow, and the space station now is probably over Arizona. Okay, that's it.